Also, I just wanted wanted to fight a triple digit enemy. They want to know what shotgun you're using. Interfacer, corrosive. Toast. The more appropriate question is, what the fuck is the wrong wrong with people who voted for this? Why is it only level 136? At Iron God? Yeah. I... Uh, did he not start out at what his normal level is? Well... I mean, Iron... Still Iron... Gonna be killable. I, I mean, Iron God's Iron God. You changed it to 136 uh... since apparently the game just derped out on me. Would a four-digit enemy even be possible? Possible? Can't go past 55. Possible? Damn it. Yes. Killable? No. No. Well, actually, I, I don't know. Be killable, but I don't think it's Items are capped at 127, but I think you can make the region uh, modifiers go past that. Eternal wants to know how many enemies you would need to blood explode him, or is it not possible? I'm pretty with sure. With how much damage, with possible. how much damage they reduction everything has, it wouldn't be possible. Plus, you would yeah. literally, you would literally one shot yourself through whatever you have with SDV. Oh, this was the game's first true invincible when he had him at level 92. This is just overkill. shield so I can inconceivable. Thank you. Although the Iron God is not too much more difficult because since he already had 99% damage reduction, he's just getting an increase yeah, in health. Yeah, it's not like he's going higher. Yeah, it's just because the stats go so high, the game can't actually register them now. So Why you, don't you use a Rough Rider? Because then my max health would go through the roof and he would be able to easily kill me. See, if you look at the stats on my stuff, it's clipping into the stuff because they're not meant to go that high. And like when you swap weapons, it's not even giving you a display because they're not meant to go that high. While Borderlands cap is 127, you, it was never meant to go that high. Yeah, I don't think Cheat Engine can really process that information. Or not Cheat Engine, I'm real.
Yeah. Just so just think of this as taking on an OP fifty five enemy. Zuzu <laughs> wants to know is this without bar for time time trial? <laughs> you yes. funny. You funny. In terms of actual difficulty, I mean, it's not the hardest thing I've done. It's just that if you make one mistake, then. The big issue is I have to uh, I have to stagger my ammo because I want to stay above 50 as much as possible because running out of ammo is a very real concern even as a gunzerker for this fight. Yeah. And if I Just run out. Just the empty, Iron God drop decently uh, under normal circumstances. In respect to his current level, probably not. It's probably not even going to jump appropriate level loot because I'm modding it out of the bounds that it's originally intended for. He drops crog nozzles. Ah, <laughs> uh, looks like we might get him this attempt. First time I did it, because I pretty much got it down now. It's not even really what he does is the issue, it's just knowing uh, where his beam, his eye beams can and can't hit me. Because that's what's going to kill you here. Those beams, they the moment they even touch you, it's instant health gate. So if you stay in that, no amount of healing in the world is going to save you. Look 
classes do I play in D3? Barbarian or Monk? Uh, I don't like to make tutorials on how to do this because right now it's uh, there's a very there's a issue with people ta doing this, but for the sake of bringing it into public lobbies and just running around with OP 55 gear and some random person lobbies, which is just not cool. So I'm not I don't make tutorials on how to do this. No, he has a calm on, it's just because Unreal Engine really isn't meant to have the numbers on screen that are on screen because of OP55, it's bugging out. So, it's there. You just can't see it. Yeah, the game is basically he hemorrhaging a what do right now. If this were Cookie Clicker, it would just be Nan across the screen. <laughs> Good old Try this with no, ammo is way too much of an issue. If ammo wasn't an issue, you could, you could do this as any class, but since ammo is such a huge problem, Salvador's the only person who can do it. Would kill blow actually work on a 136? Yeah, right. You see how many shots I have to put into him just to like make his health bar move in half an inch. Um, what do you think is the most OP weapon in Borderlands 2? Hard to tell. Probably... Uh, depends on the class you're using. Really. Baru is the most OP weapon in Borderlands 2. <laughs> I'm not a weapon though. Like, if you're going with Maya, it'll be Sandhawk and Immolate with the, with the Devil combo. With Axen, it's Gunnerang and Babymaker. I'm not sure why the Iron Guy is just kind of sitting here, but I'm cool with it. Alright, let's get some more ammo. Salvador, it's Interface. You broke him! Oh, there he goes. He yeah, he's, he, he's, he's up and around. He's up and moving now. He just gets stuck sometimes. It's changing the back. Alright, so after Iron God, do you want me to do Saturn or Dukino's mom next? Something I hate about the stats being so high is I can't tell what I'm wearing in terms of comms. I keep forgetting. Man, this last bit of health is just... Whole place that you guys go 
one make your poles at? Pole code. Are you gonna make a quick pole? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, make a pole for Dukino or Saturn. Uh, what's another high end boss? Hurley. Good old Hurley. Hurley and OP. Face Mix Shooty, the Ultra Invincible. Uh, face Mix Shooty dies. Face Mix Shooty dies in one hit, though. So it's not that big of a deal. Fifty-five. I am not doing Veracitus. Raid bosses are literally impossible at OP fifty-five. I mean, I might do them just to show you they're impossible, but they're impossible. Boom boom. Oh, I can do boom boom. Boom boom. Okay, I'll put him on the list. I need to regain some ammo here. So we're gonna just do one zerk. No shooting of my main hand. down. There we go. Iron got down. He wasn't too happy about me doing that. He just instantly responded.